Yo guys, welcome to another video by f 5 at Cyan Labs. Now this is going to be a bit of a joint effort between me and Talk and Tech. Uh, he's going to cover the in-car parts and I will cover the Windows side of things. Now if you're on Mac, follow his entire video because he already has a full guide on how to do it for anyone running Mac OS X. So, without further ado, let's begin. Over to Talk and Tech. This video is to show you how to update to Sync 3.4 in your 2016, 2017 uh, Ford Focus, Ford Mustang, Ford Fusion. The information comes from Cyan Lab, the website Cyan Lab. I will have a link in the description and I will go to the website to show you everything you need to download. It is super easy to do. I got it on here. I'm recording this intro after the fact. Uh, I got it on here. It was super easy to do. Oh, and make sure to actually go to the link and actually read the link. Uh, there are parts of the link that I did not, uh, there was a step zero I did not do on my own, and there's a step that, that step zero is, um, I did not show you in the video. The step zero on the website, I do advise you to do just in case. I did not do it, um, but I do advise you to do it. So, in order to do this guide, you need two USB drives, or uh, a USB card reader with two SD cards, or, you know, any, any sort of mass storage device such as that. One of them will need to be any size really, uh, 512, 1 gig, that'll work fine, uh, depending on if you're NAV or not NAV, or if you're uh, EU, which is the biggest region, or NA, which is slightly smaller, you may need a 16, 32 gig USB. For me in the EU, I need a 32 gig one, as the NAV update for EU is 24 gigabytes. For NA, I believe it's about 14 gigabytes, so a 16 gig could potentially fit but a 32 gig would be recommended so first thing we'll do is download the files so the first thing we're going to need to do is download the factory uh, factory mode tool um, so that can just be downloaded just by simply clicking here and the second thing we're going to need to do is download quite a large file depending on your region and if you're a navigation model or not um, so for me I'll be using the Europe navigation variant so I download this file here now I already have this file downloaded and it's 24 gigabytes so as you can imagine it's going to take a little while to download so once that's downloaded continue with the guide okay so once both those files are downloaded what we'll do is we'll insert the smaller of the two USBs so for my case this is a 16 gig USB drive uh, it can be anything over a gig really, um, even a gig would work. Um, so once you've done that, what we need to do is we need to check a few things with the USB to make sure that it's in the correct format. As mentioned here, it's important that it's MBR and XFAT. So the first thing we'll do is we'll make sure it's MBR. So in order to do that, we'll load up disk management and we'll go to the disk down here. And we'll go to properties and then we'll go to volumes. Now you can see here, this is GUID. Now most likely you're probably already MBR, but it's important to check because if it's GUID, so if it's been formatted on a Mac, um, it's likely to be GUID. Uh, also, some USBs come GUID as standard. So it's important to check that. Um, so if it is GUID, what you can do is simply delete the existing partition here. So we can right click this, go to delete volume, this will wipe everything off the USB, so just keep that in mind. And now, if we go back here again, we can just to confirm it is GUID, and it says there's no volumes, so that's good. Now, if we go to Windows and R, then type in CMD, type in disk part, and then list disk. Now, for me, I'm disk free. Make sure you select the right one here. Um, it shouldn't let you change it if you've got partitions on the drive anyway, but just make sure you've got the right one. So we can do select disk free, and then simply convert MBR. Now, once that's done, we can go back here, go to properties, go to volume, and you can see it's now master boot record, which is exactly what we want. The next thing we need to do is create a new simple volume and make sure whichever drive letter. And you might notice that you can't do XFAT. Now, 
it's a bit weird on why you can't do that, but essentially if we do do not format here, and then press finish, you'll then get this prompt here asking you that you need to format the disk. So if we do format disk, and we'll be able to select XFAT here. Leave that at default allocation size. You can name it if you want, it's not important. For me, I'll just call this USB 1 and do a quick format. Okay, now that that's done, we should have this USB here. It's empty, ready to put our files on. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is put the files on the USB. So to do that, we'll simply open up a new Explorer window, go to where I downloaded my files, and you see I've got the 3.4 2021, at uh, 221, um, which is coming in at a file size of 24.1 gigabytes, and a simple reformat tool that's only eight megabytes. Okay, so if you have a 7-zip installed, you can quite simply just go 7-zip, extract to sync reformat tool, However, if you don't, you can simply do an open. For me, I need to manually select Windows Explorer. And then from there, do extract all. Uh, keep the destination path the same. It's best to extract it somewhere on your computer first and then copy the files over because sometimes extracting to the USB has caused some issues. So once we've got these files here, they are all extracted. We simply copy these into the root of the USB, like so. You should make sure you have a file in here and the auto install file right there. So that's that, that's USB 1 done. We can right click the USB and press eject and move on to USB 2. Okay, so let's do USB 2. Let's insert it into the computer. Now, depending on your chosen variant, uh, the navigation ones need between sort of 16 and, and 32 gig a byte drives, whereas the non-navigation you're usually fine with sort of 8 gig, uh, possibly a 4 gig, I can't quite remember. Um, so let's move on to that. So I've inserted the second USB, as you can see right here. So the first thing we need to do once again is load up disk management, scroll down to our disk. Now for the purpose of this video I have specifically once again made it GUID. You, yours may or may not be. If it is, continue like so. Delete the volume. Load up CMD. Disk part. List disk. Select disk free. Again, you make sure to choose the right number. Convert MBR. Close that. Close that. Check here. Showing as MBR, so that's perfect. New simple volume. Do not format, finish. Now for me it didn't automatically pop up but the explorer icon down the bottom started flashing so click on that, you'll get this prompt. Press format disk, select XFAT, select default. We'll name this one USB 2 just for simplicity and press OK. Format complete. So now we simply just need to copy the files across. So here are my files. Once again, if you have 7-zip, you can just simply right-click 7-zip, extract to the folder name. If you don't, just open it normally, and then press Extract All, and Extract. Now this can take a little while, so in the interest of speed, I will skip ahead, and we'll catch back up once this is finished extracting. Okay, so that's just finished copying, and now we have the extracted folder right here on display. So simply copy this over to the USB. Again, this can take a little while, so we'll catch up once the copy is complete. Okay, so the files are finished copying. We've got a reformat LST file along with a bunch of files. The amount you'll have will depend on your region and if you had nav or not. So once that's done, right click the drive, do eject. And we'll move on to the car bit. Back to Talk and Tech. All right, we are here inside the car. And what I'm going to do is I have the first 
Yes, my car is dirty, but it's all good. I have the first USB drive here, uh, the first uh, micro SD card into my USB drive, USB 2.0. I wish it was 3.0. Uh, and then that is my second micro SD card right there. I'm going to go ahead and stick it inside of the car first. Start it up. Now it says updating system software, and then it should go black and restart the system. There we go. Okay, this is the process of it. Boom, starting update error. Don't worry about the error. Just go ahead and take this, unplug it. My second flash, my second uh, micro SD card back in here. And then, boom, it says insert slot, insert card. Well, it said insert USB. Stuck it back in there with my new card also formatted. And boom, it is now repartitioning the EMMC. And it's going to take a minute. We'll see exactly how long it takes. And then uh, from there, gonna have our sync 3.4 i'm super excited so this is just a mid update check uh it is still updating here i'm still sitting in the car it does have a timer at the bottom um so we're at five minutes now we'll see what the timer is uh when i finish i honestly might just go out and drive because i sitting in the car with the car on why not go drive we are now at the extracting map package and it does cycle through a different wallpaper type thing so Let's bring this down just a little bit. And you can see it shows a Mustang, then it shows the Mustang emblem, and then it will show the Ford emblem, and it just kind of cycles back and forth between uh, those three things. Okay, so I went for a quick little drive because I'm just sitting here in the car, so why not go for a drive? You can drive while this is updating. Uh, it did, uh, it, 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 at the bottom it said updating voice package. Now it says updating voice nav, nav package. And um, I'm at 29 minutes as of right now so that's where i'm at now let's see what happened and now we are extracting grace notes package uh grace notes is what you see when you use your bluetooth and you're on from your phone and it shows your album art on here or if you use have a cd in it shows your album art on here that's grace notes it is now extracting the grace notes package and we are at 36 minutes and as you can see here it says update successful please remove usb we we the total elapsed time was about 37 minutes and i'm gonna say about 40 seconds I had to pop the camera up real quick to get it so uh what the heck was that we are completely finished update was successful please remove usb and uh that's it baby it's over with let's see and i'm going to go ahead and turn the vehicle off open the door up and close it let the car sit just for a little bit give it a good 15 to 20 seconds now here is the moment of truth sync 3.4 baby who was showing a mustang logo okay and we now have sync 3.4 oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh we're gonna go ahead and confirm those as on ms system updates on sync diagnostics on we go check for updates periodically we already know how that works and boom Sync can check for updates when connected to a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network really quick. The design of this is just so beautiful to me. I, I really enjoy the blue hue that's out here. This this blue is so nice. And, and the white background, the, the contrast of the white background with the blue, it's such a nice touch. I really, really like the way this looks compared to originally. Uh, let's blur that out really quick. Okay, we'll go here. Oh my gosh, it just looks so nice. This is Sync 3.4. Um, if you don't know, Sync 4, it's kind of based on Sync 4, Sync 4 as far as the looks goes. In, in this vehicle, it's a 2016. It was not actually made for this update. So that's why, uh, you know, you have to go through these hoops to get it. it is, wow, it looks so much nicer. So one thing that really uh, catches my eye down here is climate. I will check that in just a second because I'm really interested to see climate because climate was not an option on here before. And when I actually went into the as built setting in Forescan to apply it, it didn't work. It messed up my whole system and it didn't like work and I had to go back and redo it. So I'm interested to see how that looks. Let's try climate. Climate is off. And the climate actually works. <laughs> it didn't work before, I'm so excited. Let's me pick defrost here, here, and 
it shows max there, dual on or not. I like the fact that dual is an option. So this is just a little piece of the update. I will have a full video of this update and review it and talk about it and how much I like it or if I don't like it. At the moment, I really, really like it. Um, but that's just a quick little uh, showing you what it looks like. Uh, I'll go in depth more in a future video. And, and when I say future video, I mean, it's, it's coming out really soon, trust me. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. I'm gone. Okay, so there you have it. Sync 3.4 installed. Thanks again to Talk and Tech for letting me use that video. I do have written permission in an email form from him before anyone says, oh, you copied him, blah, blah, blah. The permission was all given. Um, any questions, leave a comment below on my website, scienlabs.net. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.